Okay, yes, what's going on? Joe here, and uh, day two. So I'm finding out what I really like about this series so far. It's like my escape. I just finished doing some Spanish homework. Uh, a lot of it actually, guys, like 100 questions. It took me forever, kind of upset Fabi in the process because like, I keep asking her questions and trying to use her like a crutch. It's just not working out. Just you know, read the book. Just the <laughs> that's the answer to the question here, read the book. So uh, we built the new items. We got the new defenses. And then last night I was kind of looking at it. We got some serious spillover going on our elixir here. And uh, we need to go ahead and upgrade our spell factory because we need to unlock the rage spell. This is kind of important. I'm going to screen this one for a thumbnail, actually. So we're going to use that for a thumb. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade that because I've unlocked the dragons, but you need the rage spell with the dragons. I mean, you could do the lightning spell and zap one of the uh, air defenses. But Town Hall 7 has three air defenses, and it's most of the time best to just go ahead and rage through those at Town Hall 7. Town Hall 8, it gets a little bit more complex, but Town Hall 7, it's pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and burn that off. And then we also finished the upgrade on the laboratory. Woo, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. So you ever notice that in a lot of the Let's Play series or the uh, suggestions, like the upgrade priorities, they always say, and, I, and I'm notorious for this as well. We always say like upgrade all of your camps and stuff and then basically burn off all of your elixir. And then if you do it in that manner and then you're really stuck with a bunch of elixir at the end before you upgrade to the next town hall I've done that multiple times and I'm gonna try to like space this out because we definitely need to upgrade the storages and then we also need to upgrade a couple of things we got to get this camp caught up as well so that's gonna be another upgrade here as a matter of fact I think we'll do that while we're doing this let's um let's go ahead and do this real quick we're gonna put a no we're not we're not allowed to jump so let's go check out and see if I got any metals to spend so we do have some metals to spend we only got 67 of those tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna grab some builder potions uh, builder potions will speed up our upgrade process and I want to try to get that um, that uh, spell factory done before I get placed in a war so they're in war right now if you're not aware they're at 17 hours left in war day they're winning right now so I got to get ready because I'm opted in and they more than likely will put me into a war so I got to get ready and hopefully get my raid spells beforehand they're not going to be maxed out so I'm going to have to attack kind of low but we'll see how that plays out um, so in the, in the meantime I'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to spend the builder's potion and start working on speeding that process up so let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on we got a couple of icons here uh release the beast so we unlock the dragon so we're gonna get a thousand experience points and 20 gems there we go so that's a work towards our 2000 gems required and then we got somebody in the social tab um rc rc I'm probably messing that name up. I do apologize. But KS Rogues, yeah, well, I'll be your friend. So that's cool. And we'll add that as a friend on this account. Now, granted, guys, you know, as those friend requests roll in, if I accept them, then they're going to end up stacking up and then, you know, people are going to get upset. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully, you guys don't go crazy on adding me as a friend. But we got some uh, stuff down here we can collect as well. So we've uh, finished the challenge. What did we just finish? So gather 5,000 destruction from multiplayer battles. So I've been doing a couple of raids in the meantime. I'm not going to show them though because I'm sure you guys don't care about seeing past raids. You want to see live stuff instead. So we're going to gain 10 gems. We're going to get a training potion. That's a good thing. I'm probably going to use that here in a second. Five gems. And we're going to gain 5,000 dark elixir. Okay, that works. All right, so there's that. Um, we could get a base. We do have all the items on the base, I believe. Let's see, what, what do we have left to place? We got uh, the king. So we need to get the king still, and then the dark barracks. So we're gonna probably, how many builders do we have? We got one builder remaining. So we got 21 or two hours there, 44 minutes there. They're boosted, so that'll be done in a little while. And then we got, let's see here, that's going to take a little while. That's two days. Ugh. Okay, um, so we got one builder. Let's go ahead and burn off this gold then. Okay, so gold spent, and we're going to go ahead and start a boost. We need to finish building or upgrading that barracks. We got so much to do, it's crazy, but I'm, I'm actually liking this. I'm, I'm liking the feel of these videos. I'm really liking this, and hopefully you guys are entertained. I don't know, I'm gonna try to make it more entertaining, a little bit more, you know, jumping around and woo, 
you know, and a and, and little less, you know, instructional. So uh, we got a lot of stuff to do and very little time to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and get into a raid. Okay, so this one's not looking too bad. Let's uh, see how we can approach this. We got a crazy looking base going on here. I'm not really sure what he's trying to do here. Uh, we're going to, we don't have spells anymore. So once we put that spell factory down, if we didn't have any spells cooked before, we definitely aren't going to have them now. So we're going to have to be pretty sparing with our giants and ensure that we try to protect our troops. Let's, uh, let's do this. So we got giants there. Let's try to get rid of, let's try to get rid of these defenses here. Come on, party whiz. Help me out. Help a brother out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go. There you go. All right, so giants are going to work towards that air sweeper. Uh, let's try to clear up a little bit of stuff down here. And then let's do this. So let's get those giants down up there. Let's drop a few party whiz up there. And I'm going to drop, uh, we're going to drop some wall breakers. So we got one mortar that's over there. We don't have any spells though, man. This sucks so bad. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so giants are in. But the, here's the question. Can we keep them alive? That's the problem. So Archer Tower is being targeted by that. Oh man, come on, dude. They retargeted as soon as a giant died. As soon as a giant died, it was over. The one that was targeted by that air defense. All right, so that mortar's down. That's a good thing. All right, we got one more Archer Tower, and then we got cannons from there on out, and one Wizard Tower. So I need that Wizard Tower to go down, so that way I can drop my archers. So the, the giants are moving down through the base. Not bad. Not a bad thing. Let's go ahead and spread them archers out and try to provide some targets here. Uh, there we go. All right. I think we're going to get it. I think we're going to get the three star on this one. Not bad. Okay. So we pulled some pretty solid loot off this one. And we're going to need to make sure that we cook another army. So we lost our giants. The wizard and the wizard tower and the cannon took out our giants. Man, those dudes are squishy. So we're going to need to upgrade those next. So that's that's that was my next topic is what are we going to upgrade in the laboratory? And, you know, a lot of times like people say like, oh, go ahead and do your war troops. But I mean, in reality, like if we're doing our war troops early, then we're what are we farming with? You know what I mean? So that just that kind of defeats the purpose. So we're going to need to go ahead and upgrade our giants because they are the tanking unit that we need to survive in order to steal loot. So that's going to be down for a little while. Oh my goodness, two days on that one. Do we have any more metals? So we don't have any more metals. So we're not going to be able to speed that process up. So we're going to have to wait the full two days on the giants in order to upgrade those. But they're more important. I mean, the, the dragons are important. They're important for clan war. I'm not really pushing right now. I'm just trying to obtain resources. So I need to upgrade the troops that I'm using right now. And we don't even have troops, so we're going to need to cook some. So that we got that army there and that army. All right, so we're going to cook an army there. And give me a moment. I'm going to let that cook for a second. We'll be right back. So while we were waiting, while we were waiting for our army to cook, we got our army ready. We're going to go back in here in a second. We got our second army currently cooking. I went over to ClashChamps.com. The link's down in the description below. Grabbed a base. Now, here's the problem. So uh, there, there's a, uh, this base is from an e Indie Moine. I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right. It's a YouTube channel. It's a smaller creator, but he does base designs or something like that. So I'll try to link him down in the description below to give him a little credit for the base. Uh, anyway, so I grabbed the base and here's the big problem with the base. So that I don't have my Barbarian King cooked yet or trained yet, so I don't have it on the base. And uh, I, there's a massive hole. There's a bunch of holes in the base. So there's things that are missing from the base that need to be filled in. And I believe that's probably our Dark Barracks and our King. So we have to be cognizant or aware that copying base Bases, we got to make sure that we have everything in order to copy the base so I just want to show you that real quick because that's kind of important for those of you that are new to the game and you just don't know um, so we're gonna jump back over to this base for right now obviously our dark elixir isn't necessarily protected very well I'll figure something out in a little bit but uh, enough stalling we're gonna get into a base I'm gonna start searching we're using Giants but we're using Town Hall 6 level Giants so we have to be aware of the bases that we're hitting and we can't go hitting maxed out bases right away guys I mean that's just not really smart we're gonna lose we're gonna lose if we start hitting max out bases with town hall six troops i mean just because we upgraded our town hall level doesn't mean that we can go full on buck wild and go on attacking crazy stuff right uh, i mean you could but you're probably gonna fail miserably and be upset with me because you heard me say it or something that's just a horrible idea right okay so eh, not a lot of loot here not a lot of loot i'm gonna try to get the walls done at least get them all pink uh we got low level walls here low level walls everything's kind of grouped up 
low level defenses so we might be able to pull this one off we got to check that clan castle though so let's see let's see how we can go about this we do have an army boost we could boost our army right i don't know let's see how that plays out Ooh, there we go now we're cooking with hot grease all right so uh we got check the clan castle there's nothing in the clan castle that's good for us and we want to take on that king and get rid of him he's only a level one but he's still a little bit of a problem so let's do let's do this Okay, we're good. So we just three started. Phenomenal, phenomenal. So we get 14 cups there, and then 270,000 gold and only 21,000 elixir. Uh, that, that was kind of weak, weak sauce. But we just finished out a uh, bonus, so we're gonna have a little bit of loot in our treasury now. We're not gonna spend that. We're gonna let that stack up. Hopefully, we can get a lot from a clan war, and we might be able to build the king in this episode. Actually, that that'd be great, right? So we just moved up to silver two. All right, so we're moving up in silver. Silver League 2. Okay, so let's go see if we can find some Dark Elixir and try to get the 10,000 that we need for the king, right? 10,000 for the king? Yeah, let's do it. And then we don't have anything available there. So let's make sure we cook our next army. And we're going to go back in. Is that army cooked? Was it ready? No, it wasn't. So we still have a few spaces. Oh, that's right, duh. <laughs> All right, we, we upgraded this, and then we also had a builder's potion going at the same time. So let's go ahead and put that down to level three. It goes up to level six, and level six is where it tops out for Town Hall 7. So we don't have to worry about upgrading any of our others until we go to Town Hall 8. Uh, so this is the only one that we're going to work on in the meantime. We have two other builders, and let's go ahead and finish these off real quick. Let's finish that out. Right, so walls are done. And then we need to add the king. We need to add the dark barracks in order to get those buildings to build our new base. So let's go ahead and put this building down. That'll leave us with two, with one builder remaining. There's that. Okay, so that just took us down to 659,000 elixir. So now we have the spell factory upgrading. We have the dark barracks building for another eight hours. So that'll be done tomorrow by the time I get back on the account. And we have one builder available. Now, I'm not going to do any more walls right now. Uh, maybe. We might burn off the gold just so nobody can steal it. We'll put it to some good use. Um, but I would like to get that king down so before we finish up for the day. So let's go ahead and do this. Mm, dark elixir. Dark elixir. See, Town Hall 7 is really hard for getting dark elixir. It's not as down here in silver league at least is not as a, in abundance okay so this doesn't look too bad we might be able to do something with this let's uh let's grab the dark out of this one we got 757 dark elixir that we could steal it doesn't seem like a lot when you're at a higher level town hall guys but for town hall 7 trying to nickel and dime some dark elixir this is probably your best option now this is a higher level base so we're more than likely not going to be able to three star it, but we're definitely going to try to get this guy right there. That's what I'm after right there. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's spread out our giants. Let's get some party whiz down to help out with this process. Let's open up this base. Try to open up this base. Come on. Come on guys. We need to upgrade them too. All right. So wizards, the party whiz are in giants are in now. That's a good thing. And the cannon is distracted on the giants, so the party wizard are going to take that down. Can we get the dark elixir? And let's go ahead and help our giants out just a little bit. Looks like the party wizard are putting a hurting in on that dark elixir, though. Uh, let's see if we can get a few dark party wizards there and help out our giants. we got to get rid of that cannon. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me right now? Come on, dude. We almost got it. So you know there's going to be stuff in the town hall as well. So it's not all in that location, but we need, oh my goodness. Okay. So let's see if we can just obtain the win now. <laughs> let's see if we can try to at least obtain the win. Okay. So we got the win. Woo, 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 that was really close. So that's going to put us at 9,861 dark. So we're close. We're really close. Do we have an army to go right back in? No, we don't. 
hold that thought. Okay, so Army's cooked. I was just browsing around while I was waiting, and looks like that we have 11 hours until clan game starts. So that's good timing for us. We're gonna be able to get involved in clan games and possibly gain some stuff. I haven't seen the rewards list yet, unless somebody else has seen it. Have you guys seen it? I haven't seen it yet. Uh, so that uh, that's gonna be good for us. And then a lot of these items in the season pass right now, we're almost done with this challenge here and the giants. So that's gonna be some about 400 points that we're going to obtain and move up through the list, grabbing a few more items. We got some elixir there. There. and we got multiple locations for dark elixir and gems so we're going to try to get this done in the next 10 days that is a good thing for us i got to try to attack during the day too that's one of the things that you know during the day when i'm at school and whatnot uh what is this deploy 125 housing worth of spells okay we can't really do that all right either way we're gonna have to wait until we get our spell factory back up before we can do that but we're on the hunt for dark elixir and we might actually be able to finish it out right here with this one i know the base is really weak and some of you wouldn't even waste your time with this but there's 351 dark elixir on here and we only need you know uh, what 100 and something there 140 or something all right so we're gonna go after that and grab it uh, some some of us probably in the uh, town hall as well so let's uh let's go ahead and pick some stuff off here and then we have a storage right there. Storage right there, and the drill is right there. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and just get rid of all this. Drop some archers up there. Take care of that, we don't have to worry about it. Let's check this for a location for a spring trap. No spring trap there. Okay, come on, party whiz. Giants, do me, do me, some, do me some good here, guys. So party whiz there, there. And let's drop some archers over here to try to help out with this process. All right, so party was are putting a hurting. They're pretty tough, man. They're pretty tough. I mean, not really tough. They're really strong DPS-wise, like how much uh, power they're putting out. But for hit points, they're pretty weak. They're squishy. They're really squishy. They, they get crushed so fast. Let's go ahead and get rid of these wall breakers. We don't need them anymore. Not for this army, at least. So giants are going to power through. We should be able to three-star this, I would hope. I would hope. Oh, nice. Nice run for the... Oh, my... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my goodness. Go, boys, go. Yeah, keep cracking walls. There is an achievement for busting walls, and I don't think we completed it on this base, so we're going to need to make sure that we stay on top of that. Giants are going to take down the point defenses over there with the assistance of our archers. We got Party Wiz in the core taking down the town hall. We got a couple in our composition here. Looks like the giants are going to distract this archer tower, so let's go ahead and take care of that. And then there you go with the archers. So we're going to have the Dark Elixir to put down our king and get our level one king. What? What? That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, there's that. Yep. Yep. And we got three star. So we got free 16 cups there for that one. And if you didn't learn anything out of that attack, guys, uh, control on your troops. You don't have to dump all of them in one shot. Hold on to some troops and then use them on the back end and you'll definitely be able to th three star. I mean, I know the base wasn't like super powerful or anything, but something that I've learned over the years is having some form of control in my attacks and not dumping everything. That's extremely important, especially when you get higher town hall levels. You're going to definitely need to remember that because you will have situations where you're going to wish you had a wizard or something to finish up the attack. Okay, so enough talking. Enough talking. We're going to go ahead and drop that king and, and, and finally... Finally, we are going to have our Barbarian King and no more Dark Elixirs. So congratulations to me for that. Uh, we need 12,500 12, Dark Elixir to put him down again. And we will have to start working on that. So we have one builder remaining. We're out of walls. Let's go ahead and see if we can change over to this ba base. No, we can't change to this. Ba what happened? What? Oh, yeah, you got to go back and place the items. Dude. <laughs> All right, so now we can change to this new base. Now, it's not really, what is this, like a trophy pushing base? I think it's a trophy pushing base. Yes, it looks like a trophy pushing base. So I'm going to request some, 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 let's request some defensive troops. I'll fill it. So I'll tell you what, I'll fill myself. So I don't want to burden anybody. All right, so we'll fill that with some defensive troops. We have a really weak base. Hopefully some of you out there know what this looks like and you can follow along with me. I, I read some of the comments, guys. Thank you guys for the, the big support. I know some of you are like Town Hall 9s and 8s and you're watching this and you're just like, oh my gosh. But I do greatly appreciate you guys. That is going to be pretty much it. I think that's it. We got one builder. Let's, uh, we got some gold remaining, right? We got some gold. Uh, let's put down, uh, why not? Let's just do our mortar. Eight hours on the mortar. We'll come back to it tomorrow and uh, spend some more loot. But again, that is going to be it for today. 
you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you later on the next one